from the first local stop to conquering the South African industry to Hollywood. He is affectionately known as Detective Trevor Davis. Right here, right now on Living Legends, proudly brought to you by Telus of Zimbabwe. Their tariffs are very cheap and you can find them in any retail that is available near you. And guess what? When you recharge, you find 100% mega bonus just for you, our customers, in proud partnership with Proton Vegas and Zikunaga Gray, Kujiga Maurambarera, found on 250 grams, 500 grams, 1 kg as well as 2 kg. And you can also find them on any retail that is available near you yesterday. And of course, sitting on this beautiful couch is Indigo Interior, found on uh, 13 Crescent, Borodja West in Harare. And then this beautiful dress is Timbani Mbochka. Thank you so much to a top designer in Zimbabwe. Yes, I have Arnold Tongai Chirisa. He's making us proud overseas. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming through. Oh, it's a pleasure. That was really impressive. You know what? It's just... Wow. What? That's like a whole <laughs> monologue <laughs> that you get out in like 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, it is. I was like, man, you'd be, you'd be a great actress. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to take me out? Uh, definitely. You <laughs> up for it? Yes, I'm here. Okay, then let's Do I go. look good? Yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for So you're me. actually live on Living Legends TV show. You're a legend. Do you know that? Legend? Yes. Ah, I'm a Mashika. I'm a Mashika. I'm a Mashika. I'm a I'm a Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming through. Just to be forgot about uh, Tongai Chirisa. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Just to be anything. Tell anything. us anything. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, that's a very broad question. Mm -hmm. Well, currently, Tongai is out here just um, enjoying mm -hmm. the Zimbabwean sun, enjoying family. Mm -hmm. um, and just working on a new project, you know, some music. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I've been doing these last couple of days since mm -hmm. I got back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I understand that you featured in uh, the first local shop in Zimbabwe Studio 263. Just mm -hmm. tell me about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, what do you want to know about Studio 263? Now, people? before you became a big person, were you nervous? Was it your first time? Was it your breakthrough? Well... <sighs> I mean, like I've always said that I don't, you know, mm -hmm. the studio wasn't my first mm -hmm. big breakthrough. It was a step to where you see me today, you know, because there were many other projects and, you know, things I did before studio. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it was my first, I think, introduction to Zimbabwean homes, mm -hmm. you know, um, and which was great because I've always wanted to, you know, hone in my skills acting and this was a perfect opportunity Mm -hmm. uh, to do such. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so from uh, small screen uh, mm -hmm. to big screen, uh, Studio 260 to Tanya Radzwa, you know, uh, tell me about the transition. Well, there really isn't a transition, mm -hmm. you know. I think acting is acting. Mm -hmm. um, and you just, you know, learn to, you know, do the best you can with the opportunity that's, you know, in front of you. Mm -hmm. So, actually, film was the first thing that I started with before I got into television. Mm -hmm. So I think it was the opposite, like the transition of being from film going to TV, where you obviously you have more um, episodes as opposed to you're shooting a feature film where you just on set for a couple of weeks and then that's done. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty much the big difference, mm -hmm. you know. All right, so I understand that you, uh, you did a number of uh, short films. Was there a difference uh, compared to uh, Soapies? Oh, absolutely. I mean, sh short film, you mm -hmm. know, the operative word is mm -hmm. uh, short, mm -hmm. but it's a film mm -hmm. nonetheless, you know. So y you put in just as much work in a short film as you would in a full feature length, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But with soapies, you know, you go in there every day, uh, you know, learn to learn your lines, hit your marks, mm -hmm. you know, and just and deliver. And that's a machine. Whereas with film, you know, you get to really explore a little bit, you know, and see you know what your emotional arc and range looks like so there's a lot more play mm -hmm. room with film than you do have with soapies mm -hmm. yeah. all right so we uh we shift to the south african industry uh -huh. uh, i've seen you on uh, uh, mr bonds uh waking up with uh, leon i understand he almost uh, lost the role tell me about it yeah uh well <laughs> i was a skinny boy still am <laughs> and uh i remember this was we shot that film in what, 2009, okay? Mm -hmm. And it was like towards the end of 2008. Mm -hmm. I got the audition. I went in. They really liked my audition, but I was really, really skinny. And the character's name is Hercule, mm -hmm. you know, as in Hercules, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, look, the only way I can salvage this is if I go and start working out. Mm -hmm. So during the Christmas break, mm -hmm. 
I was in the gym just like, you know, doing my best to kind of like get into a sizable, mm -hmm. uh, a sizable weight. Mm -hmm. I told my agent at the time, I was like, listen guys, if they haven't made the decision yet, just let them know that I'm in the gym and I'm working out. Mm -hmm. And that was the, I think the thing that allowed me to come back in January mm -hmm. to read this time mm -hmm. with the man himself, Leon Schuster. Mm -hmm. And so when we sat together and we started speaking that Kuvuki language, <laughs> Kufu <laughs> Kale. Rest is history. <laughs> All right. So we're seeing our boy, our Zimbabwean boy, doing it in South Africa. <laughs> you know, uh, will you never uh, know that you are changing uh, industries? Um, I mean, you always feel nervous. Mm -hmm. Every role is different. Every role is unique. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and just stepping onto a new set, a new stage, a new dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, you tend to have butterflies. You know, are you well prepared? Are you adequately you know, well informed with your character. All these mm -hmm. things come into play. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's the nerves of like, I don't know if I'm going to do a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the nerves of like, oh, okay, we're ready. Here we go. Mm -hmm. But the more you do it, it, it just becomes second nature. You know, mm -hmm. like I was mm -hmm. saying early on, like these cameras are my friends. Mm -hmm. Tato Jairo on. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's just like, okay, what's, it's, it's another thing mm -hmm. that we... I just have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you ever miss some? All right, we'll talk about this after the break. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have uh, Arnold Chirisa right here, right now on Living Legends. Proudly brought to you by Chilas of Zimbabwe in proud partnership with Proton Bakers. Do not go away because we'll be right back after this short break. The second segment of Living Legends, and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoying yourselves as much as I'm doing right here, right now. Yeah, Yes, proudly brought to you by Telesa Zimbabwe in proud partnership with Proton Bakers. Marambore, and Cookies, Murungu, and Naja, I have Arnold Chirisa right here on Living Legends. So tell me, Arnold, uh, boom, we're in Hollywood now. You know, I've, I've seen you on NCIS, right? and mm -hmm. uh, other number of short films. Just tell me the experience and the tradition of First Zimbabwe now, South Africa now, uh, the state. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful journey, mm -hmm. but I would never take credit for myself. You know, I think, mm -hmm. you know, when, when God has a plan for you, sure. you know, he always makes a way where there seems to be no way. And I know that, you know, I used to say like, you know, in Indonesia, it took Hollywood, but wow. never had an idea how to get there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's mm -hmm. opened doors. So I'm very grateful mm -hmm. uh, to him for that and what he continues to do. But yeah, NCIS was a wonderful experience, you know, awesome. growing up listening and watching, you know, LL Cool J, you know, mm -hmm. listening to his rap songs. And then here you are doing a scene with LL. Mm -hmm. It's pretty surreal. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm all stars stuck in each other. I'm going to cut And cut. No, you forgot your lines. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. But it was fun. It was fun. It was, um, it was a great, um, it's a great experience to kind of like work with professionals out there and, mm -hmm. you know, people that are on the ball. Mm -hmm. So it helps me in my craft just to be uh, the best performer I can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I understand that. Uh, okay. So do these guys ever uh, appreciate uh, guys from Africa, especially Zimbabwe? Um, I think they do because <coughs> anytime you hear, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have a very large community of Nigerians. So anytime there's an African character that's being played, most often it's a Nigerian. 
you know. So Wakati Tuguda, an African accent, the first ear that they know Nigerian. is the Nigerian accent. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now that there are a, a, few, a couple more Zimbabweans coming in, they now realize ah, Amy, there's not just one sound, mm -hmm. you know, because when we speak, we sound more British than anything, you know. So it's, it's nice to see that evolution beginning to take place. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of other Zimbabweans that are doing really well. There's Bongile Mlambo, Alvina August, um, you know, just to name a few who are already, mm -hmm. you know, Mukaona, so you may not know, but, mm -hmm. you know, one way Kumusha. Kumusha. All right, so uh, has this in any way changed your career? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's like the Mecca. You it's know, nice. I always compare it to, you know, when you hear the Peter and Clovers and them, mm -hmm. when they went to Coventry, mm -hmm. you know, the English Premier League is mm -hmm. the best, you know, football league in the world. Mm -hmm. And just like Hollywood, you know, anyone that wants to be an, an actor, you aspire to get to the highest level possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so after all these achievements, what are you doing to give back to the society? Oh, being, coming home, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you, you, you contribute in the smallest way or the best way you can, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, you know, as time goes on and as, you know, as the allocates continue to happen as the, and the career continues to expand, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can do more, but you do what you can in the capacity that you're given, mm -hmm. you know, and so if it is me coming, talking to you about my experiences and hopefully inspire somebody that's watching this, sure. you know, to say, ah, okay, he started here and he's there, mm -hmm. it's possible. I can do and that. This too. is exactly what, you know, I'm here for. Mm -hmm. All right, so we come back to SA. You came back to SA and did uh, Love is for Later where with uh, top SA actors. Can you mail, uh, just tell me about it? That was a fun one. Um, uh, happiness is a four-letter word. Um, mm -hmm. it, was, it was off a book that was written. It was a book that was, you know, converted into a story, into a film. Mm -hmm. um, and I was very privileged to be a part of that. Um, mm -hmm. it, 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 it did exceptionally well. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, broke records, you know, so South African standard wise. Mm -hmm. And it was well received across the African continent. So it was a, it was a blessing to be a part of that. And mm -hmm. it's going to be a happiness too. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> stay right. tuned for that. Mm -hmm. Actually, you went uh, to school for, uh, you did art and acting in school. Mm -hmm. So was it a passion or you had a dream or someone pushed you? You know, they say that acting, you don't choose acting, it chooses you. Mm -hmm. You don't realize, I didn't realize that this is who I was and what else to become, mm -hmm. even though Dichiruguchkoro, Kumadrama, Taita, and mm -hmm. people will say, well, you're really good. Mm -hmm. But because, you know, you're nine years old, you're not thinking drama, you're just thinking Bora, Boiz Dangu, you know, and let's just have fun. Mm -hmm. But eventually, you just realize, like, man, this is something that comes easy. Mm -hmm. And so, Passion is what continued to drive me despite and in spite the fact that there were moments where you had to just work for Coke, a Coke and some, some buns mm -hmm. for, your, for, your, you know, for your meal or you know, to get paid. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, because I loved it so much, I, I wasn't deterred by my financial situation. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have a goal and a vision and if you know where you're going and what you want, mm -hmm. ah, these mm -hmm. things are just obstacles that enable and help you to figure out the next step. Nice. I understand that you have a number back home. Yeah. Ah, my nama. I mean, it was a great, it's a great one. Like, mm -hmm. you know, first, uh, first time, I've actually got two. Mm -hmm. uh, one for a, a theater for a wedding night and one for, uh, I think it was stu is it studio. Or Tanya Radzwa. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it was <laughs> the mm -hmm. best actor for film. Mm -hmm. Ah, studio. It was for, for Studio 263. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was nice to get those before I left for South Africa. Mm -hmm. So Then very eventually, happy. boom. <laughs> yeah, very proud of The top of, of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a short break. Yes, I have Arnold Chirisa right here on Living Legends. We'll be right back.
the last and final segment of Living Legends. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying yourselves as much as we're doing back in the studio. It's on a Wednesday, 7 p.m. The Living Legends for you. We're right and we're doing well, man. All right. So um, eventually, mm. uh, why did you come back home and do you ever miss home sometimes? Why did I come home? It's home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got my family here. My mm -hmm brothers my sisters and you know it's good to to come back to where it all started mm -hmm. it's a good reminder mm -hmm. um, of why I do what I do and why I continue to strive for excellence the way I do mm -hmm. you know um, and it's a place just to reset and mm -hmm. relax mm -hmm. so those are the main reasons why I come home mm -hmm. you know I would love to do it more often but, Not often. you know of course you know, work calls me, so, you know, we come back when we can. Mm -hmm. But when we do, it's always fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so uh, I understand that. All right, so Anuji has done almost everything in acting. What's next for him now? Oh, I haven't done everything in <laughs> acting. <laughs> I've just begun. I always tell people that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's a stepping stone, mm -hmm. you know, until, you know, you are able to achieve everything else outside of the acting, because that's a job, mm -hmm. you know. You know, there's so much to live for, there's so much to do outside of just acting, because mm -hmm. that's not who I am, mm -hmm. you know, it's what I do. So, you know, basa y basa. Basa y basa. Mm. So are you planning on developing new talent? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, I, you know, I try to do what I can by bringing in, um, right now it's kind of like in the music, you know, because film is a, is, a, is a much longer process, but we are in the process of developing scripts and, and you know, things that we would love to come and shoot back home mm -hmm. you know and so a lot you know with circumstances that are favorable you mm -hmm. know because obviously you just want to make sure that this it's a business mm -hmm. and you want to be able to make a profit or actually have something that's viable that people can mm -hmm. enjoy you know not only in Zimbabwe but mm -hmm. the world over mm -hmm. so you know with that being said yes you know we are you know I've got my good friend Joe Njagu he's a you know, mm -hmm. film director that yeah, of I'm course constantly in none. touch with <laughs> yeah so you know, I'm, I'm aware of who's around and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So when we do come, you know, we have a good pick of the, mm -hmm. the best All in right. Zimbabwe. All right, so Arnold, yes, this is the trip. Yeah, as the film, Zim film industry is not the same anymore. Mm -hmm. The Easter and the current one, they're just two different things. I'm sure you can witness that. Mm -hmm. If you were to sit down with Kirsty Coventry, or minister, what would you suggest for her? Oh, oh my God. What would I suggest? And mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I'll throw this back to you. Like, imagine <laughs> if you... You know, when you, if we if we had, we've got a banking mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. now, imagine if that wasn't an industry mm -hmm. where you didn't have people that go to school to learn accounting and mm -hmm. business finance mm -hmm. and all these things, and then people just want wake up one day and say, "Yeah, I want to be a, a banker. Mm -hmm. or I want to be an accountant." Mm -hmm. Would you trust that person? Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. So I think these are you know these are some of the things we need to address that if. The banking industry can have four, five, six, seven different banks. True. TV should also have four, five different, different, different TV stations. Mm -hmm. You know, public and private. Mm -hmm. It's the only way we can create the work and the jobs that people so desperately need. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't continue to keep, re you know, relying on uh, international money mm -hmm. that have an agenda. Mm -hmm. But people like me, like Joe, the TTs, should be able to say, "Hey, I've got an independent company." I'm working, I'm producing content for Zimbabwe, for the nation, for the world, mm -hmm. you know, and it should be, it should be something that should <coughs> allow everybody to be an inclusive player in, mm -hmm. you know. So just like there are seven different banks, there should be seven different stations. Nice. Yeah. All right, so uh, make it home to your family. No, this is home. Make yeah. it work to have a family. <laughs> Back where? At, at work to have a family based on uh, Bacon Estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got some sisters out there, you know, so, you know, we ha we get together whenever we can, mm -hmm. but we're like in different, you know, locations. It's like one is in Cape Town and one is in Araya, mm -hmm. so, you know, but we do get to see each other. All right, just for the sake of my beautiful sisters out there, are you married? No. Oh, okay, so he's not married. He's not taken, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right, so we have uh, an Arnold who's looking at, at us right now. Do you have anything that you want to say to the upcoming aspiring actors? Oh, I mean, if you really, really desire to do this, mm -hmm. if you really think that this is your calling, mm -hmm. keep going. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there should be no stone that should be left unturned, especially in your own home country, mm -hmm. you know, 
if I was to ask you if you knew all the producers and directors in Zimbabwe, you mm -hmm. should be able to tell me that, mm -hmm. you know, you should be a go-getter. And mm -hmm. despite, you know, the setbacks, there's always a way mm -hmm. to figuring out the next step. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, don't give up on your dream. I surely didn't, mm -hmm. you know, and by the grace of God, I'm, I am where I am today. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to the Zimbabwean fans who have missed you so much? I'm so glad to be home. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I still can't you know, believe that people still remember Detective Trevor Davies. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful, nostalgic feeling mm -hmm. to know that anybody that knows that knows that this is where it started. So True. for that, I'm eternally grateful. Mm -hmm. And these are the type of fans, I should, I should just call them friends, that keep me grounded mm -hmm. and allow me to know where I come from mm -hmm. and where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So that when I do come back, I can, I can be able to share and build up more Trevor, mm -hmm. Trevor Davies. Nice. The and industry. the rest of the Living Legends crew. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 All right. So this, uh, this program is being sponsored with Taylor and Protein. So Protein, stay mass. I don't know what to do. I'm so my cookies. All right. So I'm Madam Barrera. Remember them, right? Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. All right, I'm so they're from Parton. I'm going to take these back with me to LA. Please do. Don't give it them to oh, anyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank All you All right, so thank you much. so much for coming through. May God bless you, hey? You too. Thank you so much for having me. All right, that was uh, Arnold Tongai Chirisa, also known as Detective uh, Trevor, Trevor Davis, right here on Living Legends. I must tell you guys what. Bye, but do not worry yourself because next week I'm back again, same time, same place with another legend. So for your views and comments, all you think a living legend and you want us to pay a visit, do not hesitate. Feel free to contact us on the number that is appearing on the screen right now or you can go to our Facebook page. You tell us what you think. So for myself, Marceline, Wanda Makara, our proud sponsors, tell us Zimbabwe, Proton Vegas, Indigo Interior for these beautiful couches and of course the beautiful dress I am in right now, Timani Bosha, the Living Legends production crew that was running around to make this show a success. Goodbye, God bless you and see you next week.